everyone! Yeah, I know, I've been busy this afternoon. But it's Saturday, I've got some peace and quiet. So, to this time, I am doing my tentative May TBR. This might be overstretching it, I might fail this completely, and I might decide to go and read something else. But hey, these are the books that I would like to hopefully read this month. But you know what happens, you know what I'm like by now, so we'll see. So, um, there will be a separate Believeathon TBR which is running for two weeks from the 11th of May. I've managed to get my boys to organise themselves and do TBR for it, so I'm going to try and put mine together this afternoon. But basically, it's encouraging us to read middle grade books following a path of prompts. Um, it's hosted by How to Train Your Gavin, so please go and check him out. I'll leave the link to his channel down below. And all the links to Believeathon will also be on that link. So you can go and find out all the stuff about it. But it's effectively reading middle grade, that's 8 to 12 year old books in the UK. And discovering some real good gems because there are some fantastic books out for that age group at the moment. And I'm loving them. Um, so yeah, so that will be a separate video. This is just extra books that I want to read this month. Maybe, possibly, fingers crossed. So let's start out with a reread. Ink and Bone by Rachel Kane. This is the first in the Great Library series. I read this, God, years ago, literally years ago, um, and I never got any further. Now, that's not because I didn't enjoy this. I did like this a lot. It's an alternative universe where the Great Library of Alexandria was never destroyed. And unfortunately, it's not proven to be a beneficial thing in this world. Um, knowledge is restricted. You're only told what you need to know, and I use that very loosely, and the whole system is corrupt. So I do remember really enjoying this. I did like the world building. Obviously, it involves a library and bucking against the authoritative nature that's in power, so I quite like all that. I do have the next two books in the series, and obviously, I think the fourth one's out now by... Yeah, the fourth one's now out, so... I'm really glad that they've changed the cover style though because it doesn't match these ones. But I want to reread this. This is part of my rereading challenge for myself this year. Um, I want to reread The Expanse, the Ketty J series, and the Great Library series. So it's time I started the series and actually ploughed on with it. If you've just seen my book haul video, um, you would have noticed that I've picked up several new books. Three of them are on this list three books I really want to read this month. Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. First one in the series. Want to read this. Been wanting to read this for several years now. So going to read this. Girl Serpent and Thorn by Melissa Bash Ardust. Um, this is an arc because this book's not actually out until June. I'm sure it's June. So many books have been moved in the last couple of months. So I'm not actually certain anymore. So I want to read that. And Witches of Ash and Ruin by E. Latimer because I keep seeing this everywhere on my timelines and that. Um, it has been very much loved and I want to read. We Are Blood and Thunder by Kezia Lupo. I've had this on my table just before we went into lockdown. I think it was one of the last pickups I did at my local Waterstones. Um, this I didn't manage to get my hands on a copy at Yelp last year. I was kind of disappointed because this was everywhere and people were loving it and I really regret not getting it at the time. So I've got it in paperback and I'm going to give it a go. And finally, from my local library, which is not expecting any books back until the end of June, is High Fire by Ian Koffler. This is his adult book uh, involving drugs and dragons, so I'm quite happy for that. But it's the last library book I've got on the table that I need to read before we're allowed out again. If we're ever allowed out again. Yay! Um, so I really want to read this. It's just going to be sort of a more of a palate cleanser because it's a little bit older, um, but it's still remaining very much fantasy. In fact, actually, that's an awful lot of fantasy this month. So, uh, yes, I've heard good things about High Fire. Um, the fact it is quite witty and clever. So I'm looking forward to reading that one. And like I said, it's the last library book on the table. So it's like, come on, I need to read this. So that is what I'm hoping to read in May on top of the Believeathon TBR, which is two weeks out of May. Now, I know that seems a lot, but we do have two bank holidays in May in the UK. So that's two extra days of full reading. Um, I seem to be into some sort of swing of working from home now. So the housework isn't completely taking over my life, which is quite nice. 
So I should get more reading done on a regular basis, but I'm still struggling. I don't know about you lot, but I'm struggling to read on a regular basis for a set period of time. It's really, really hard. So the sun is shining, so I will go and sit in the conservatory this afternoon and start my reading because I didn't read a thing yesterday and I feel really bad for it. What do you plan to read this month? Leave me your links to your TBR blogs or videos or just a list of books you're going to read in the comments down below. I'd love to know what people are reading out there at the moment. Are you into full-blown escapism and getting away from it all or are you reading stuff that is just nerve-wrackingly close to home? I might have mentioned this before but if you want something that is really close to what's going on right now, Wanderers by Chuck Wendig, oh my god that's terrifying. It is so terrifyingly spot on, uh, but it's a blooming good book and we should finish that this month. Yay! Um, so there we go. As always, small booktuber link in the description box down below. Please check them out and share some love. Links to my social media where you can come and say hi and links to my book blog as well where there are occasionally more ramblings from me. As always, thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Bye!